In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use the manual upload and compress feature in CrushPix for Shopify. If you've watched any of our previous videos, you may already be aware that you can automatically apply your compression settings to the majority of images added to your Shopify store. These include all of your product images, collection featured images both for manual and smart collections, asset images, things like background images and logos that are used in your theme, as well as the blog post featured image. However, due to restrictions of the Shopify platform, there are a small number of images that you will add to your store that we are unable to access and therefore compress automatically. These include any images added to the content area in pages, any images added to the content area in your blog posts, any image you add yourself to the file section in the Shopify admin, as well as any files added using the customized feature in the theme editor. For these images, we recommend you use the manual upload and compress feature. So let's have a look at how you use that in the CrushPix admin. So let's say we wanted to add an image to a blog post. And um, as mentioned before, we don't have programmatic access to those images using CrushPix, but we do want to take advantage of speeding up that download to the person viewing the blog post. So we're going to use the manual upload and compress feature, uh, which is available in the CrushPix admin. Before I do that, I'm just going to show you the image that I'm going to be dealing with. It's uh, a picture of Berlin, and I'm just going to show you using the get info here, um, how big that actual file is. It's around 1.2 megabytes on disk, which is actually quite hefty. Now, of course, we could have extra savings by reducing the actual size of that image using a graphics tool, but we're not going to worry too much about that at the moment. We just really want to apply some compression settings to reduce the size of that so that it downloads quicker to the person viewing it. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to switch back to the admin in uh, CrushPix and you'll notice at the top here I've actually got some compression in progress that's because I've added some uh, product images to my demo store and they are um, actually being compressed uh, as we speak but we're going to scroll down a little bit here to this all images section and you'll see that I've got the manual upload area already expanded but if I click on that little arrow there you can see that it will contract um, this uh, area here the manual upload is just above where you'll see all of the sort of progress reports on all of the images that are being compressed so um, you may miss it but uh, just remember that if you click that arrow everything will be revealed as with our automatic compression settings, we have access to balance, conservative, and custom. I've already got balance selected, and that's the one that I'm going to use for this demonstration. But uh, just to say, you can obviously select conservative or choose your own settings using custom. There are two ways that you can add the image that we have on our desktop to the admin. You can actually drag it on from the desktop, or you can click add image and then browse to that. Uh, mine's on the desktop, there it is, so I'm just going to select it and click choose. And what you'll see is that the image is now being added, it has been added accordingly. And once that is um, uh, compressed, we'll see it down here, you'll see that it's actually in the queue. So we're going to give that a short while and then we will come back and uh, I'll show you how to download that and add it to your blog post. Now that the image has been crushed, uh, it's uh, gone through the queue and uh, has had the compression applied, we can look at how we can actually add that to uh, a blog post in the Shopify admin. So let's scroll down and see where the image is in our um, file section down here. And uh, yeah, it's not appearing. Um, this is because uh, we have the automatic compression applied and Crush has actually gone on and uh, started to crush a whole bunch more images since we added our manual upload. But this gives me a good opportunity to show you how to use the search facility in CrushPix. So I'm gonna actually type in the file name, which was berlin.jpg. It's capitalized it already for me, but uh, that doesn't matter, it's actually found it. And here it is, you can see uh, berlin.jpg, that's the file we uploaded earlier. Uh, you'll see some more information here as well. You'll notice that the file name and the alt tag has got NA not applicable underneath, and that's because that facility is only applied to product images. You can see that the image has been crushed, that means it's gone through the manual upload and compression process, and we have saved 34%. 
Clicking on details uh, will give us some more information, so let's have a quick look at that. And you can see that the original size was 1.16 megabytes. Uh, the crush size is 768 kilobytes, giving us a saving of 389 kilobytes, which is very considerable and will definitely result in the image being uh, downloaded quicker to the person viewing it. So, how do we actually get that image out of Crush and into the blog post? Well, actually, it's pretty straightforward. If we come over to the little uh, sort of quick actions uh, arrow just here, we can click on download. And this will open the image in a new browser window, in this case, Safari. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that image to my downloads, and you'll see that it popped up down there and you'll see berlin.jpg, that's the crushed version, uh, is in my uh, downloads folder. And I'm just going to close that image and go back to the Shopify admin. I'm going to go to online store and blog posts. And let's create a new blog post just to show you how to add that image to it. So I'm going to call this blog post the manual upload and compress test. And I'm going to insert the same uh, text there just to show you that it works. And then I'm going to click on Insert Image. Now, I've already uploaded the crushed image into the file section, but if you hadn't, you would literally go to Upload File and select the image from your downloads or wherever else you saved it on your local machine. Uh, just double click that and then that will initiate the upload. So, in order to insert that into uh, the actual blog post, you just select it and that allows us to do two things. Firstly, add some alt text, and I'm going to put Berlin Tower, and also the size of the image that we would like in there. And let's pick uh, the Grand, which is 600 by 600. That'll be 600 on its longest uh, side, not necessarily gives us a 600 square. So I'm going to click Insert, and you'll see that that image is now into the post. So I'm going to click Save. I'm going to make that visible, and then I'm going to click on View which opens a new window. Uh, our theme is just one of the test themes from the theme store, so uh, please excuse the uh, very basic nature of it. And there you can see that the image that we added using the manual upload and compression feature is now in our blog post. And those savings that we applied using compression will result in a quicker download to the person viewing your blog post.